Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. So my Simply Safe door lock doesn't actually lock anymore. Traditionally, when you turn this back and forth, like that's unlocked and that would be locked. But that's no longer the case. So I'm going to see if we can pull this apart and see if we can model up and 3D print a replacement part for it because it's just plastic that's in there and I need my door to lock. There's the culprit. So this shouldn't be a super difficult part to remodel. It's just gonna be about getting the tolerances in there. It's basically square on all sides. And then it goes, I think that design is pretty similar on both sides. So it should just be modeling this center piece and this outside piece there. But let's get some measurements of it. Best I can see is about 19 and a half millimeters long, just over 10 millimeters wide. So we'll call that 10. And then the diameter of our circle here, right around 9.25 millimeters, roughly two and a half millimeters interior on this slot by about 6.85. So with those in mind, I'm gonna jump into Fusion and see if we can get something modeled up real quick. The only thing we've got to pay attention to is on one side, there is this little triangular bump out roughly 3.75 at the base to about one millimeter at the tip. And that runs the full length of this square. So that took less than 10 minutes to model this part and redesign it in Fusion. Granted, it's not a very uh, complicated part, but basing something off of a real world part, it's definitely a pretty easy thing to do, assuming you have calipers anyway. Let's send it off to the printer and see if this first iteration even fits. So normally I wouldn't print out of ABS for a test part. It takes longer for the bed to heat up and whatnot, but if this does end up fitting, I'd rather have the final result than have to reprint it again. So ABS it is. And if ABS doesn't hold up like I'm hoping that it will, I've also got some Easy PA nylon from Sunlu. And this isn't a carbon fiber reinforced version. I didn't want to go with carbon fiber just because it changes the tolerances and regular nylon is super durable. So ABS doesn't work. We're going to swap over to the nylon. One thing about nylon though, it has to be dried first. Twenty-one minutes later and our ABS print is done. And it's very hot. There are little bits of supports to clean off of it, but overall not a bad 20 minute print. But the real question is, does our little fix actually fix the door? Well, it fits perfectly inside of the Simply Safe door lock. The real question is, does it fit our little part there? So it fits in there. This would be unlocked. Of course, the sun is going to make it increasingly difficult to see, but that does work. Super smooth, too. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Honestly, I didn't think that was going to go so smoothly. I figured there would be at least one iteration that we had to do with it, but I'm happy the door's fixed and um, 3D modeling can save you a bunch of money on having to buy a new door lock, evidently. And since Simply Safe made it out of plastic, I didn't see a reason I couldn't too. No two 3D printing projects are the same. Maybe you need a strong, lightweight nylon or high temperature resistant peak. Maybe it's an ultra smooth resin model or even flexible TPU for a soft touch part. PCBWay offers all of these services and more. 
with FDM, SLA, SLS, MJF, and even metal printing options. Whether you're prototyping for a functional design, making a cosplay prop, or designing industrial parts, they have the right material and process to get it done. Upload your file and get an instant quote today at PCBWay.com. So it's been about four days since we originally installed that little pin, and I thought we should take a look at it and see if we need to replace it or if ABS is gonna be the answer for us. So let's jump out there and see how it looks. So to remove these little Simply Safe locks, if you didn't catch it in the first clip, there are two little pins on the side here, one on that side and one over on this side. And then this whole piece should just slide right off. And upon first glance, it does look like our ABS pin is not holding up so well. Looks like it's cracked basically in the same fashion that the original one did. It is still working. It does still unlock and lock the door, but we want something that's a little bit stronger than that. But just to show you how it fits inside of here, you can see this is grooved to fit this little triangular piece that's on top there. And that just slots into place. There isn't much wiggle room there, but I am gonna try a different kind of filament for this one. So let's jump back into the shop and see if we can find a filament that would fit this a little bit better. Thankfully, Sunlu sent over a few of their engineering filaments the other day. In fact, after I filmed the original part of the video. So we've got PA6 glass fiber, which is glass fiber reinforced nylon. We've also got the PA6 carbon fiber, which I have here in the shop already. We've got PA12 carbon fiber, which is supposed to be less moisture absorbent. It's not the proper terms, but you get the point. It doesn't absorb moisture as much as the PA6 does. And then I've got another spool of this Easy PA, which is what I have in the Sunlu filler dryer right now. So what I'm thinking for this one is I'll print one out of the Easy PA that I already have in the dryer, and then we'll print one out of the PA12 carbon fiber. With the next one, I'm also gonna try printing it in two different orientations. So this one printed like this with the layer lines going up. So I'm gonna try another one printing just like that, but I'm also gonna try one printing like this, just to see if it makes any difference in terms of the strength. All right, so we've got the Easy PA loaded up into the Anycubic Cobra S1, and we're gonna load the PA12 carbon fiber into the E2 filler dryer from Sunlu and print it out on the Chidi Plus 4. When they're all finished up, we can take a look at each of them, see how they did, and then go get them installed into the door. My money is on the regular nylon working a little bit better. If you've ever used nylon, it's super durable, very hard to break, and although I've never used PA12 carbon fiber, I have used PA6 carbon fiber and it's definitely rigid, but I wouldn't say it's indestructible. Because there's carbon fiber embedded inside of the filament, it tends to make it a little bit weaker in terms of breaking strength from my experience anyways, at least when you compare it with regular nylon. Honestly, both of these look really, really good printed out of that PA12 carbon fiber. So this is the one that was printed vertically and this was the one that was printed horizontally. As far as quality goes, I don't, I don't see a difference at all. I do suppose here on the top layer, you can see some of the, the gaps that are in there, but I think both of these will do just fine. <laughs> Definitely need to dial in some retraction settings with this one. So our vertical nylon piece doesn't look terrible. There is a bit of stringing on the inside there, but I don't think that'll have a huge impact. This nylon stuff's really durable. The horizontal nylon piece, definitely need to fix some cooling settings, I think. This was the first time I've printed nylon on the Anycubic. There is a little bit of deforming or something on this bottom part there. Same goes for this side over here. Yeah, so this piece that was printed horizontally on the Anycubic, not exactly the best looking, but this has been my results with nylon in general. It's not specific to the Anycubic. So I think what I'm gonna do is take our vertical print in the nylon 
and our horizontal print in the nylon carbon fiber and see how they do. And like I said, my money is on the regular nylon performing just a little bit better simply because nylon in general without the carbon fiber additive is really durable. Although this carbon fiber part fits in there super well. Like that's a really nice fit in there. Yeah, and I mean the, the PA12 carbon fiber also works just as well. So I'm gonna put this one in there. If it breaks, we'll swap over to the regular nylon print. Now, like I mentioned, this was my first time using nylon on the Cobra S1, so haven't really dialed in the settings all that much, but both of the prints fit, so it's just a matter of seeing how they hold up over time now. So I did search online before I took the time to measure my old piece for that door lock, and I wasn't able to find any replacement parts, not even on Simply Safe's website. So I would have had to purchase a whole new door lock by the sounds of it. Now, I don't know if these are set specific. For example, if there are more than one type of little key is what I'll call it that fits inside of there. But if you have a Simply Safe door lock and yours is broken and you want to download the file and print it out for yourself, I will have a link down in the description below to my Patreon page where you can go get that file. And if you want to check out the Anycubic Cobra S1, or the Plus 4 from Cheaty Tech, I have links down in the description below for both of those products as well.